In this video, we're going to talk about making payments on a mortgage. Uh, and the example says this, a family buys a house for $150,000 with a down payment of $20,000. The family takes out a 30-year $130,000 mortgage at an interest rate of 4.5%. And the question is, find the amount of monthly payment needed to amortize this loan. Okay, in other words, what are the payments the family is going to have to make each month uh, for the next 30 years in order to pay off this house? Okay, we have this uh, formula here uh, that we uh, ha found from the previous video. Remember, this really came from the present value of an annuity formula. And this really is an annuity because you're making the same payment every month uh, for 30 years. Uh, and by the way, this 4.5%, uh, the, the thing that doesn't mention in this problem is that um, this will be considered 4.5% compounded monthly. Okay, if you're making monthly payments, uh, this will be compounded monthly. In fact, that's always the way it is for mortgages. Okay, if you're making monthly payments, the interest rate is considered an interest rate compounded monthly. Okay, so the R is what we're looking for, which is the payments. P is the present value. Now, the present value is not the value of the house, right, which is 150000 It's the value of your loan, right? You took out a $130,000 loan. And the I is the interest rate uh, per period. So it's 0 0.045 divided by 12, which is 0 0.00375. You use a calculator. And N would be the number of payments. Well, you're making 12 payments a year for 30 years. And 12 times 30 is 360. By the way, that's pretty standard, a 30-year loan. Uh, if you want to pay off the house uh, faster, you could take out a 15-year loan. Of course, your payments would be more, but you, you get uh, it paid off much uh, more quickly. OK, so uh, if we plug this in, we get 130000 times 0 0.00375, all divided by 1 minus 1 plus i, so that'd be 1.00375, raised to the negative 360th power. OK, so to type this in your calculator, you could put in the numerator uh, 0 0.00375 times 130,000. You could put this in parentheses if you want. You don't have to, though. Now, the denominator you should put in parentheses because you're adding or subtracting things. Okay, so this is uh, exactly the way that you would type it in to the calculator. Now you could type it in step by step, one by one, but if you do that, make sure you don't round too much until the very end. At the end, you can round to the nearest penny, uh, but uh, don't round until the very end if you're gonna do it kind of step by step. Okay, and I typed this in my calculator, and when I uh, got the answer, it was $658.69. Okay, $658 and what was it, 69 cents. Okay, now of course this doesn't include things uh, that you'd have to pay like property taxes and homeowners insurance and things like that. But your payment, which would include uh, the amount that's going toward the principal and the interest, would be $658.69. Okay, if you paid that amount for the next 30 years, each month for the next 30 years, then the home would be paid off. Okay, now another question that you could ask is, how much did you pay in interest overall over the course of those 30 years? Okay, and that's really uh, what we did and asked in Part B. Find the total amount of interest paid over the course of 30 years. Now remember, you're, making, you're paying $658.69 a month for really 360 months, right? So you multiply this by 360, and what you end up with is... $237,128.40. Okay, $237,128.40. That's the total amount that you paid toward the house. Now, not all of that was interest. In fact, $130,000 of that went toward your principal. So if you take that amount and you subtract $130,000, then that will give you the total amount in interest that you paid. And in fact, I think it would be $107,128.40. That's the interest that you paid. Okay, so you, you take the total amount that you paid over the course of those 30 years, you paid $658.69 per month for 360 months, right? 12 months a year for 30 years. And that, that's the total amount that you paid, $237,000 over the course of those 30 years. But 130,000 of that went to actually pay for the house. 107,000 was what you paid in interest. 
Now, let me mention there are actually some pretty good online tools for calculating uh, mortgage interest rates and, and uh, looking at what are called uh, amortization schedules. Okay, so let me uh, show you something here. So amortization schedule calculator. I don't know if I want to give you the web address or not because I don't want you to just type in all your answers here and to find out what the payment would be. But notice I typed in $130,000 for the mortgage uh, and it was a mortgage term of 30 years or 360 months at 4.5% per year. And I put the start date, which is today, the day I'm making this video. Uh, and notice the monthly payment is $658.69, exactly what we said. I hit calculate and that's what it gave me. Okay, now now notice <clears throat> down here, this is what's called uh, an amortization table or an amortization schedule. Notice each payment every month is the same. Okay, $658.69. And you can check this out for the next you know 30 years. That's what the same payment will be. Now initially though, only $171.19 in your first month is going to actually pay off the house. $487.50 is going toward interest. Okay, you paid $487.50 in interest. Okay, so this is how much you owe at the end of the first month, $129,828.81. Now notice as time goes on though, you owe less and less on your house, and so you're having to pay less and less interest, and more of your payment is going to pay down the principal. Okay, uh, by July of 2015 here, you're, you're, paying 100, or you're making $175.74 uh, toward the uh, principal. That's what you're paying, and $482.96 toward the interest. So notice at the beginning, you're paying very, very little uh, actually to pay down the house. Most of what your, your payment is going toward is, is to interest. Now, as time goes on, you go much, much further down, okay, toward the end. So if you look, you know, 30 years from now or so, 29 years from now, most of your money, this is this is the amount that's going toward the principal. Uh, most of your, your payment, the $658.69 is going toward the principal. Only a little bit, $45 is going toward interest because you owe much less on your house at that point. In fact, what you owe on the house at that point is $11,444.41. By the way, this is the total amount of interest that you've ended up paying. Okay, and notice if you go all the way down to the very end, what you owe is zero. So you kind of have a party that day. You, you paid your house off. And what you've paid in interest is this $107,128.72. Is that what we have? Okay, well, we're off by a few pennies <laughs> uh, because it calculated, it, it rounded a little bit differently than we did on a couple of things, but basically $107,128. Okay, so maybe that's a good reason to do it the way we do it <laughs> instead of uh, use, using this uh, website. Okay, and I think there's a problem or two where they give you an amortization table in my math lab and they ask you a couple questions like how much are you paying an in interest in the first month uh, and how much is going toward principal. And, and so these are really uh, useful things uh, for you when you're considering buying a house, figuring out what your payment uh, would be. How much will go toward principal, how much will go toward interest. Now again, you'll have some other things that you also have to pay monthly like um, like homeowner's insurance, um, possibly PMI, that's uh, mortgage insurance, uh, and also, um, let's see, also uh, property taxes, property taxes, uh, most places property taxes go to help pay for schools and things like that in your area. But uh, anyways, this is, I, I think, some um, information that will be useful to you.